Good morning, Chairman. Uh, good morning to the others of you here in the room. Uh, my name is Scott Prohaska, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Centerpoint Energy, which is a uh, Houston-based um, energy delivery company. Uh, we serve um, metered customers in excess of 5 million uh, electricity as well as gas. Uh, we are part of a deregulated electricity market, so we're the utility side of the electricity serving, um, providing the T&D services uh, for the greater Houston area. In addition to that, we have um, a midstream business that comprises over 8,000 miles of pipeline infrastructure, uh, as well as some midstream gathering. And we recently announced a joint venture with Oklahoma Gas and Electric, whereby we merged our, our two midstream businesses. And uh, as a result, we now have in excess of 10,000 miles combined between interstate and intrastate pipeline. So as, a, uh, as an owner uh, of, of pipeline infrastructure, we are uh, certainly very interested in the notion that uh, pipeline investment needs to follow the discovery of gas and the changing uh, picture around how gas is consumed and where gas is consumed. Um, pipelines fundamentally serve as the bridge between the, uh, the source and the consumer. And, um, and as such, it's the, uh, it's the subject of, of much interest uh, as issues arise relative to building out the infrastructure. Uh, one point, uh, that I, everyone I think has heard of, and I'll expound on a little bit today, is this relationship between the electric industry and the gas industry relative to, uh, to gas supply. And the fundamental challenge or issue involved here is one of reliability versus cost, um, ensuring that there is sufficient reliability and investment made uh, so that the power reliability is, uh, is acceptable and is, is at a desirable level. Uh, becomes a uh, debate that involves uh, the industry's willingness and ability to make the necessary commitments for the infrastructure investment and pipeline. might be a little uh, instructive to take a look at the history of um, where the industry has come from. We've had direct use of gas with consumers uh, for quite a long period of time. Uh, that industry, the, which we have uh, gas LDCs, has served the markets uh, directly and has been willing to make long-term commitments for supply because of reliability requirements and, quite frankly, the challenge associated with having to relight many of these customers if you do have an outage of gas. On the electric side, gas has been uh, traditionally been more of a, a peaking fuel and is kind of cycling into becoming more of a base fuel and, as such, um, needs to have the considerations that go with having the necessary infrastructure to provide uh, the gas to make the necessary power. There are many regional and market differences which really complicate this issue. Um, the first one is there's numerous regional differences that, that complicate integration, including the dependence on the degree of gas in the fuel mix, the potential for coincidental peaks of natural gas distribution companies and gas fire generations, whether pipeline capacity happens to be constrained in the area, and whether the region operates as a retailed, restructured electric market are just some of the, the, the factors involved. Uh, additionally, there's market perspectives. Uh, with the unbundling of natural gas markets, gas customers are required to procure their own um, gas supply, whereas electric customers do not purchase transmission distribution separate from their electricity. Um, whereas electric and uh, transmission distribution companies typically have the ability to collect the cost of expansion of their system from the customers, pipeline companies generally cannot pass the cost of expansion to multiple customers unless each of those customers benefit from the expansion. Uh, and while pipeline companies rely on long-term fixed contracts to back costly infrastructure expansions, most organized power markets do not incentivize generators uh, to hold long-term fixed contracts that would support these new investments. Without holding a firm contract, the power generators will likely choose to take interruptible service. So, it's clear that regulators and market participants such as Centerpoint concern that if we don't enhance the integration between natural gas and the electric markets, there will be reliability problems for the electric industry. Congress could, should continue to work with FERC, regional reliability councils, and market participants on the overall goal of removing these impediments to new gas infrastructure in the pursuit of reliability for electric customers. Uh, Chairman, I thank you for the opportunity to be here today, and that concludes my remarks.